Some call it funny money, but there is nothing funny about getting ripped off by someone passing counterfeit cash. Could you tell the difference if it was in your own pocket? Tonight, 7 Action News anchor Mike Duffy digs into how to protect yourself from a growing problem. There you go. All right, thank you. Would you know what to do if you were handed a counterfeit bill? And would you even know how to recognize what it looks like? Today, I'll explain what the experts say. How you doing? Good, how are you? Out of 20? Irene Huddleston is a cashier and manager at Honey Bee Market in Detroit. Have a great day. She says her team is always checking to make sure the money they accept is not counterfeit. And she's not happy to hear criminals are once again trying to pass phony tender. Now the girls are going to have to work even harder to make sure that we don't get fake bills. She tells me she's had people try to sneak them past her before. Fortunately, she caught them with a pen some used to spot fakes. Every one of them that I marked was brown, a dark brown or, or black on that bill. And it was obvious they were fake. And do you feel like you're pretty good at spotting counterfeit bills? I am, but like I said, I've come across some really good ones. Really, really good ones. It's an unfortunate lesson a man in Rochester Hills learned when he was given cash for his car. Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard explained what happened. The person was given thousands of thousands of counterfeit bills and then the suspects took off with the car. They paid 12000 in these counterfeit $100 bills. The seller only noticed when he examined the bills and all the serial numbers were the same. We have people in this world that want to take advantage of other people. So it can happen to you if you don't think it can. That's your first step to getting caught up in a scam. I love people. I, you know, I like to talk to people, my friends. It's a big social thing for us. I met up with Rini Mann at her home in West Bloomfield where she was having a garage sale. Authorities say garage sales are a big target for counterfeiters. I asked her if she'd even know if a counterfeit bill had been given to her. No, I definitely wouldn't know. Now, there are some security features on most bills that could allow you to kind of distinguish fake from real. You know, I don't think I notice that much, especially since they've changed all these bills. Many people feel the same. So I spoke with Jim Thorburn, a detective with the Allen Park Police Department. He partnered with the Secret Service to hold a how to spot counterfeit money class after a string of incidents in that area, including one right in the police department's own parking lot. I didn't think that that would ever be such a thing, but welcome to 2022. People are very bold. They just don't care anymore. And it happened here. I asked him where the bills are coming from. Does it seem like there's an origin around the Detroit area? There is. There actually is. And I believe that's something the Secret Service is currently addressing at this point. So what can you do to protect yourself? I asked Thorburn about the pen people like Irene Huddleston use. That's going to tell you if the, if the paper's real. The paper very well may be real but the denomination effect is not real. That's because counterfeiters will use small bills and print larger bills on top of them. But there are some other features you can look for, like making sure when you hold the bill up to the light, the watermark image matches the president printed on the bill. Another technique that used to work was by feeling the shoulder or coat of the president on the bill for a raised 3D texture. But criminals have outsmarted that security measure as well. Not the case anymore. They just make the print thick on that part of the coat. So what's the number one thing you can do? Get a black light, Amazon, dollar store, the UV light, that will always tell you the truth of a, of a counterfeit money. When you know what to watch out for, you'll be better prepared in case it should happen to you. In West Bloomfield, Mike Duffy, 7 Action News.